Good evening, everybody, and welcome to my Friday night fun night. I'm so excited to be back with you today. And gosh, we had so much fun last week. So I just have been like, I've been creating like crazy. I mean, two videos in one week, and it has been so much fun. And I am super excited about today, too. Um, so, but last week, if you didn't have the opportunity to see it, we did the 10 and 20. Um, with the uh, Circle Celebration stamp set. And I have loved all of your comments and your emails, and some of you have sent me pictures of what you've created, so thank you for that. I have thoroughly enjoyed seeing um, your inspiration and um, some of the cards you've created. So I'm gonna look down, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. Uh, today is February 12th. That's right. So if you're watching this video after Feb February 12th, then uh, you're probably watching the replay. That's right. So I'm going to look down. Hi, Trudy and Suzanne, Angie. Hello, everybody. I see Rita in there. Denise. Hello, Miss Denise um, and Paula. Oh, it is so good to see all of you in here with me. So thank you for joining me tonight. Now, I know this past week there has been snowstorms everywhere, and many of you I've talked to are like, oh my gosh, we're buried in snow. Um, so, you know, there's an upside to that. So then you can like, you know, you have an excuse to be in your craft room like all day long, <laughs> right? So, you know, it's supposed to rain here in the Carolinas all weekend, and so I am thrilled to pieces that, you know, that might mean that there's maybe not a soccer game, and which I love soccer games but then I don't feel guilty because then I can be in the craft room too. So pretty, pretty cool. All right. Hello, Debbie. Um, it's so good to see all of you in here. Hi, Sally and Kathy. Thank you guys. And Painted Moose, that's Miss Wendy. Hello, Wendy. And of course, Robin. And so some of you may see um, Miss Amanda is in here and so is Priscilla and they both help answer questions for me. And I really, truly appreciate that. So thank you, Priscilla. And um, thank you, Amanda, for being here and for helping with that. So if you guys have any questions, let them know um, because it's really hard for me sometimes to, you know, to read the comments. Okay, so a couple of things before we get started because I'm super excited to share with you today. Um, I'm always excited. <laughs> you guys are like, she's a kook. Um, all right, so the mini catalog, yes. So the mini catalog is, um, it's out, right? The January through June mini catalog, and it's good through June of 2021. So if there's any items in here that you are really wanting, um, you know what? You have got time, so you don't have to rush. This guy is good for a while yet. However, with that said, the celebration catalog, there's about, what, 16 days left? So uh, February 28th is the last day to take advantage of celebration. And um, you know, celebration is fantastic. For every $50 you purchase, you get a free item, right? Or a free uh, celebration. I call them credits. Um, and you know, they're unlimited. So it's one of those promotions that we all love where you get to pick something free from Stampin' Up. So it's pretty awesome. And then of course I have my host code running um, and you can find that on Brandy's cards and also um, you know, Amanda or Priscilla can help you with that too. But for my host code gifts this month, I'm excited because we've got the, um, oh, these little blending brushes. They're not little, they're pretty fantastic, really. I wanna use one as like a makeup brush. They're so nice. Um, and then I've got heat and stick powder, which is one of my favorite things to use. Um, I am so excited they brought that back. And then of course the Meadow Moments embossing folder. So those are part of my host code gifts this month. Um, so just so you guys know that that is available. Hello, Tammy. Um, okay, so let's see what else is going on. The Hey Chick bundles are still available, so that's pretty cool too. And as a matter of fact, Miss Amanda is going to join me for a video soon, and we're going to show off our chicks, right, our Hey Chick bundles. So, um, you know, no pressure, Amanda. I know. <laughs> I've really got ideas in my head right now. I haven't put that's them on right. Yet. So we're really excited about that. Okay, everybody, I'm excited. I want to get stamping and um, show you how beautiful this bundle is. Now, before I get started, though, this is uh, the, the bundle that we're going to use today is called the, um, what is it, the Butterfly Bouquet or Bouquet Bundle. Absolutely gorgeous. You are going to love this bundle. Now, I've had a couple of you email me saying, hey, I can't find that bundle anywhere. 
Well, that's because right now it's only available for demonstrators to pre-order. That's why. And then it will go live on March 2nd for customers and for everybody. So right now, demonstrators going to, you know, they can pre-order one of these bundles. Um, but again, it'll be, it'll be live in a couple of weeks for everybody. So you will have access to it then. And if you have a host code gift coming from me this month, you'll also have that flyer in there. So you can see these products too. All right, so I am going to show you this beautiful bundle. And so it's called the Butterfly Brilliance Stamp Set. And then we have the Brilliant Wings Dies. Now this is absolutely amazing. If you have not seen this yet, um, it is just phenomenal. So check this out. These are all very um, ornate type butterflies. And I'm going to show you some of these, you know, here in just a minute. But these are very, you know, detailed butterflies, which I love. You're going to want one of the take your pick tool die brushes to kind of, you know, poke out some of those pieces, right? But it's absolutely a beautiful bundle. Now, one of my favorite things about this bundle is this die right here. Yes, it's one. It is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to show you just a couple of fun things before we get started um, crafting with this. Um, you know, check this out. It also has this gorgeous designer paper. And I have to tell you, it makes me think of like the Minions. Um, it's called Butterfly Bijou. Bijou, Bijou. <laughs> I don't know. It is like, I have, that's how I have to remember so I know how to say it. Um, and some of y'all out there are going, oh my gosh. Yeah, you try to remember Bijou. <laughs> Butterfly Bijou. So anyway, this is just beautiful, beautiful designer series paper. Now I'm going to move my computer here a little bit so I can kind of look over. Um, so anyway, this is absolutely stunning. It's a part of this collection. There's also some naturals paper, um, and I actually, I guess I forgot to pull that out. So, but at any rate, we have this beautiful designer paper, and I love when you flip it over and you have these other designs on the back. They're just beautiful, and they just work so nice together, and um, just awesome. Oh, Amanda, thank you. Let's show them those naturals. They are just gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So look at that. Oh, yeah. And so it really does look like wood. And Amanda had me feel it and she said, look at that. There's like little, you know, like texture lines and stuff in that. And it's really thin. And then on the back is, um, you know, it's just kind of another fun look to it as well. So this is the natural texture. Um, is it natural texture? Is that what it's called? Um, specialty natural paper. Touch. Natural specialty touch. Paper. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. So. But today, I'm going to show you something fun with this one. So let's look at that one. And I'm going to put this beautiful butterfly bijou, bijou, bijou designer paper away. And I'm going to pull back in my, my dies. OK, so check this out. It's so cool. Are you guys ready for this? So this die right here actually cuts out all six of these beautiful butterflies. I mean, isn't that the coolest? It is so cool, really. Um, I got so excited. Um, I'm not really good at reading directions. I will be honest with you. I just tend to jump right in. Um, and I thought to myself when I saw this die and I saw this paper, I thought, you know, I bet you that coordinates. So I was really excited um, to see that it did. So Stampin' Up! totally did a good job with that. Now in the stamp set is also one stamp. And so when you stamp this, you're going to get this image, right? So when you stamp it, you're going to get something that looks like this. And so of course, um, this die also cuts out those butterflies. So how cool is that? So of course, you know, you can, um, you know, you can die cut all kinds of different butterflies. You can have lots and lots. So here's one of the detailed butterflies that you could die cut. And then I took some of the designer series uh, paper, that Butterfly Bijou, and I um, die cut some of the other colors. Can you guys see that? And so these are just some of the other colors. Of course, you could sponge it and make it darker. And then I stamped the butterflies in black. 
So check that out. And this is black. Oh, so, so cool. So let me show you some of this magic and how amazing it is. I'm gonna set some of these things aside here real quick. And I'm gonna pull in my cut and emboss machine. And I'm gonna show you exactly how that die just does its magic in one quick pass through this machine. So I'm gonna pull in my base plate. And then I've got, I, actually I pulled out some new cutting plates for, for you guys today. I, my cutting plates were rough. I have been cutting lots of butterflies and my base plate was, or these um, cutting plates were looking kind of bad. So um, I pulled out some new ones and you know, you could use a piece of painter's tape or washi tape to hold it in place. Um, it really, in my opinion, is pretty darn easy once you kind of line up your butterflies. And of course, if you have any white space, like extra, that's, you know, you can always trim it. It's really, um, these are pretty, pretty forgiving. So we're gonna run that through the machine, through our cut and emboss. Sorry about the jiggle on the other side. And I'm gonna set that aside for just a second. And I'm gonna show you how lovely these butterflies are. So look at that, they just pop right out. They fall right out. And um, you know, this piece I can't, you know, you could sponge, right? Sponge in that and do some other fun stuff. But today I'm just, oh yeah, you could absolutely use your blending brushes. So check out these beautiful butterflies. These are the butterflies we're gonna use to craft with today. We're gonna make five cards and with butterflies, featuring these butterflies. And then we're also going to, um, we're gonna make a box. That's right, we're gonna make a fun box as well. So I can't hardly wait to kind of show you exactly what I did. Now before we do that, and since I have my, um, my cut and emboss machine out, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, emboss my card base real quick. So that way I can put my cut and emboss machine away and we can just keep on trucking, all right? So this one is the Tasteful Textures. I have a card base, right? I do like to fold it or score it, so that way I know exactly where I wanna put it in my embossing folder. And I just wanna emboss the front. I love this embossing folder. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm just embossing the front of this today, of my card, and I'm gonna run that through. Try not to knock anything over, all right? And I'm gonna close this guy, hang tight here, and I'm gonna put that away so that way we have more room. Okay, so here, this is the Tasteful Textures. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a very subtle texture. Sometimes I can't decide which side I like best. Um, so that's always nice. That gives me some more options, right? Um, so that's always good. All right, so let's get started. So today, you know, we have, what, I'm gonna grab my chair and kind of come back up here. We have six beautiful butterflies. Yes, we do. So the first butterfly we're gonna start with is this beautiful yellow butterfly. So I have some pieces here. And let's see, I've got some trim. I've got some basic black cardstock. I also have some sew saffron cardstock. And then I have the pieces that I'm gonna use for my sentiments. And it looks like they are over here. So let me grab one of those. And that's going to, oh, did I make that one too big? I did, well it's a good thing I have my cutting board here. So let me just pull this in real quick and cut this piece. Um, so let's see, this is three and a quarter by three and a half. So we would have to cut that down. Let's see, so three and a half by three and a quarter. So we're gonna come down a quarter of an inch on each side. That's right. So um, we might have to do that with our other ones too. That's okay though, we'll get it done. All right, so here we go. So now we have all of our pieces. Actually, you know what? I still have got a size that's wrong. See, we all do this. We all play with our cutting board and go, oh my goodness, 
you ever try to do it under the gun, whoo, man. All right, so let's see. There we go. Now we're cooking with grease. I like it. Okay, so here we go. So here is the pieces for our card. Now I also have some strips here. And I've got, this one is a half of an inch by uh, five and a half. And then this one is, um, actually this one's three quarter and this one is a half. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add that to the top. I'd like to layer white cardstock, basic white cardstock. Um, I think that, um, you know, you can really do a lot of fun stuff by just layering up your cardstock, whether it's white or, um, you know, colored cardstock, you can really kind of get some different layers and um, texture, a different look, some accents. So I love to do that. And then we're gonna just fold our cardstock. This is the easy peasy stuff. This is kind of the, the stuff before the magic. Yes, that's exactly right, stuff before the magic. So we're gonna add that to our card base. All right, and then we have, and so if you guys joined me last week, um, I used the black, the matte black dots, and it was so fun to go back and see y'all's comments. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of you guys said, well, I didn't know what to do with those matte black dots. And, um, you know, and then when you put them on that card, it was like, it pops, right? Well, wait till you see those dots on these butterflies. Yeah, they are gorgeous. So I'm gonna layer my So Saffron, which is already beautiful on that cardstock, isn't it, on that black. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in my stamp sets. And so I brought with me today Dragonfly Wishes and Dragonfly Garden. And you know what, I liked all of these sentiments, so I sort of struggled at which was my favorite, to be honest with you. But I think today I might go with You're an Inspiration on this card. So here is my yarn inspiration. And I do have a piece of scrap paper here. Might have to use my, oh, there it is right there. So I might have to use my flyer because um, it's got some pieces on it and I'm just gonna leave that over there. So I have Memento Black ink here and I just like, before I go on to my cardstock, I just like to kind of stamp it on a piece of scrap paper to kind of get my bearings, make sure that it's inked up really good and that I've got it straight. That's exactly right. So I just, I always do that two or three times on purpose. Um, but you know what, we have two sides to our paper. So, um, but that one turned out great. So super excited about that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna bring in our butterfly. Look how beautiful our butterfly is right on top of that. Just gorgeous. And so we're gonna add a mini glue dot, maybe two, behind our butterfly. And I think we're gonna add it right there. Now one of the things that I like to do when I have my butterflies is I like to kind of bend their wings here at the, at the body because I want them to flutter. So I take my mini, or I'm sorry, my Stampin' Dimensionals, and I kind of tuck it right up underneath there. And then what I do is I find kind of where the edge of the wing is gonna end up, and I layer two Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'll put a second one on top of there, and then I kind of bend the wing a little bit. And then when I stick it down, it kind of has sort of kind of a flutter, if you will. And so of course, we have to do the other side, right as well and so I am looks like I decided to put it right here that's okay so instead of on the base but we can still do the same type of thing and kind of bend the wing a little bit and then kind of bend them up that's right so we're gonna flip this over and I'm gonna show you how beautiful this butterfly is accented by just having that basic black and um, that so saffron cardstock underneath it. It's absolutely stunning. And so now remember, this card was one pass through the big shot and we're gonna make six. So actually five, that's right, five, because I decided to double up. So here we go. I'm gonna look and make sure that I am centered and I'm gonna add that right there. That's perfect. And we'll flip this guy over 
and add some more Stampin' Dimensionals behind this. Now you could probably just glue this straight to the top, but because I had this strip here, I decided that I wanted to um, decide that I wanted to use dimensionals. So it's up to you. You could probably do it either way, um, but I did like that idea a little bit better. So here, let me show you once I put that down. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? I just love that so much. Absolutely beautiful. Now, to make it even better, I have my Take Your Pick tool, and it looks like I forgot to change out my little piece here. So I'm just gonna put that in there and twist it. And I have my matte black dots, and I told you all how excited I was to show you that. So here we go, we're gonna take our, our matte black dots, and I think, if I remember right from my example, it takes about six of these to go right down his body. And it's amazing how beautiful those matte black dots just pop him just right up, right? I mean, it, it's just so pretty. So, you know, you could, I think six is where I ended up. Now you wanna get your little dots straight, otherwise he's kind of got a crooked body. And so um, you wanna think about that when you're putting those on there. Um, but there you go. Do you guys like it? Oh, I hope that you do. Super, super easy, right? Easy peasy. So that is the first card. So how about um, the next one? So before we do that, I already know that I did not cut my cardstock the right size because um, I'm looking at it over here and I'm like, oh man, I did not do that. So I am gonna go ahead and um, just cut that here really, really quick. So I have to measure it so it's three and a quarter and it is, let's see, it looks like three. So let's give that a try and see what happens here. So I'm gonna make sure that you can see me in there. Three and a quarter by three. There we go. And then I have to make sure that it fits on top of my card before we start working. So yes, it does. So perfect. So I'm just gonna take the time really quick here to cut this one. So three and a quarter by three. Perfect. Thank you guys for hanging tight with me while I did that. Um, Cause then we don't have to do that later. All right. So here we go. We got a butterfly caught in there. He's not supposed to be caught in there. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna start working with the next one. So again, we have all these beautiful butterflies, so we've already used the yellow one. So how about, let's actually grab this one. How about that pretty pink one? So this is um, just another beautiful color. And how about this one we stamp? Thank you for your kindness. So we've got our scrap paper. I'm gonna pull that back in and stamp it and make sure that I'm good and straight. I've got some nice ink on there, and it looks that I do. So we're gonna add this one. Thank you for your kindness. Perfect. So we're gonna set that aside and grab our little mini glue dots. And of course, you can pop up his wings just the same way as you did the other one. So that is an option as well, you know, or if you don't want to kind of, you know, add the extra in there, well, that's okay. You can just kind of tuck it right underneath and, um, you know, just kind of tuck it underneath there and it's still, still a beautiful, beautiful card. All right, so here you can see where I'm going with this. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna add our dots or I should say our Stampin' Dimensionals. Boy, I am not very graceful with these today. My goodness gracious. Look at that. Whew, you'd think I'd never done this before. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so here we go. So we are going to add those right here to the top of our card. Oh my gosh. So now we have two. Look at that. So now we have two for our stationary. Again, one die, one pass through the big shot or the cut and emboss, 
and the designer series paper. Um, so pretty cool. And now let's do the next one. So I have my, my little paper here and I think the next sentiment I think I want to use is your acts of kindness are a breath of fresh air. So we use that one or let's see, what else do I have over here? I have wishing you all the best. Let's do that one. Wishing you all the best. Okay. So let's see. I am going to stamp it on here. And you know, honestly, one of the questions that I got from my last video was I had used Whisper White. Well, I actually make lots of cards with my card bases and I have several packs of Whisper White because I don't want to run out. With that said, as soon as I do, I am going to be using Basic White. So um, if you've heard me say that, it's because I have both here actually. Um, and I have to work through all of, you know, what I already have. So up next is, let's see this next one that we're going to do. Um, we have, I got to look at my card stocks over here and see which one goes where. All right, so I think we're going to do this guy next. He is beautiful as well. So I'm going to ask what color do you think would accent this butterfly? What color do you guys think would accent that butterfly? It looks like he's got some misty, um, misty moonlight in there. I'm going to say maybe some pool party. Um, I think some daf uh, daffodil delight might be beautiful under him. Um, but I'm going to flip that over. And while your guesses or comments come in, I'm just going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals behind him. And we're going to put him on our coordinating cardstock. All right. So here we go. We're going to flip him over. And I chose pool party for this guy. So here's my pool party cardstock. And all of these card bases are exactly the same. So all of them are the same. I have, um, I've embossed with the tasteful textures. I've added my uh, strip to kind of add something behind here. Um, I didn't want to take away from the beauty of this butterfly. Um, so that is why um, I, uh, you know, did all of them the same because I wanted it to be a beautiful coordinating piece of stationery. But we're not done yet. We still have another one. That's exactly right. We have another beautiful butterfly. So let me show you this one. Oh, this one's probably my favorite. I love this one. This one I think is definitely my favorite for sure. So let's see, what do we have here? I've got another piece of my cardstock. And I think I'm going to go back to thank you for your kindness. And I'm going to stamp that straight down, straight up. And we're going to take our mini glue dot. And so what, um, what color would you layer behind this one? So it looks like the colors in this butterfly are Just Jade and maybe Pool Party. And then of course you have the black. Um, that's accented around it for the uh, the outline or the frame of the butterfly. So let's add our s mini uh, or our Stampin' Dimensionals here. Yeah, these are not mini glue dots. These are Stampin' Dimensionals. And then we are going to put it on our card base. Here we go. So here's the next one. Yep, this is Just Jade. If you decided Just Jade, that is what I decided to do here. So check this one out. Oh my goodness, this one's my favorite. Now, if you can't see, all of the butterflies do have their beautiful butterfly body. So again, I just think that these are so fun and so easy, right? Easy peasy right here. And um, it just, uh, just amazing, really. Um, I love how beautiful and simple these cards are and how elegant they can look. Okay, so the next one is right here. And this one I am gonna do, you are an inspiration. I think that's what I'm gonna do on this one. And this one is going to come right about there. Perfect. And again, if you are wondering where I am using those sentiments from, it's from the Dragonfly Garden and the Garden Wishes. And so I'm just kind of interchanging these, honestly. So it's from both of those. I love the script in that. I just think it's gorgeous. 
Okay, so what's left? We have this guy and this one. I think that's what I have left. So in theory, I could make six cards, right, out of these butterflies, but I am going to do something a little different on this one. And so I wanna grab and look at my example here. And so I think, yeah, that's what I did, is I used two of these beautiful pink ones. And so I am going to bring this around. Now I noticed that maybe, you know, maybe I didn't, you know, when I cut this one in the cut and emboss machine, maybe I didn't line it up perfectly. So it's really honestly quite easy just to kind of snip off any extra if you have that. All right, so here we go. Let's see, where did my mini glue dots go? Here they are. So I'm gonna take a mini glue dot and I think that this one is gonna flutter in that direction. And I think this one is going to flutter kind of, what do we wanna do? Right about in here, like that. And then this guy is gonna go maybe, I don't know, what do you think? Kind of off that way or, let's see, do we want this guy to kind of maybe be more, there we go, I like that. And then kind of maybe off in that direction. Perfect, love it. Okay, and then I have my matte black dots. This is the one that I cut through the big shot or the cut and emboss and I um, just did that one so he does not have his little dots. So we're gonna get that added real quick. So on these little butterflies, it takes about four to cut, to put on there. Now, again, actually I should say three on these little ones. This one here took four. So I'm gonna save that one. I don't think it needs it. Okay, so let's flip this over. And you could certainly try to um, use the mini Stampin' Dimensionals and pop up the wings and so forth. But um, this one really just has a beauty about it all in itself that I don't, I don't know that it really needs it, honestly. Um, but it's entirely up to you. So here we go. So this is petal pink. That is the color I chose for this one. So look at that. Oh my gosh, isn't that just lovely? Oh, just so pretty. And I'm gonna pull them all back in. So here you go. There's all five of the cards. And so I'm gonna again, I'm gonna show you that that came out of the butterfly bijou. I almost <laughs> didn't say it right, <laughs> bijou. And it was this one right here with this beautiful dye, um, this fabulous dye, cut that right out. Super cool. Okay, so now let's move on to a fun way to package. But before we do that, I wanna show you one thing. Um, so what I did is I was trying to decide what I wanted to do for my, um, I was trying to decide what I wanted to do for my envelope. And I honestly decided that I would just emboss cardstock and then glue it on the top. So what I did then is I did that for each one of my coordinating, you know, each one of my cards so that it would coordinate. So you can see that. And I decided to kind of, whatever the highlight color was, is the color of the envelope. Now, if you're wondering, how do I get my hands on this bundle? It's fabulous. It is fabulous, and I promise you, it will be available to you soon. Um, so I know that um, you, know, you guys are gonna love it. I'm sure you are as much as I have. And so if you're wondering you know, exactly how I did this, I cut my piece of cardstock. This is actually just a piece of scrap from my scrap bin. I ran this through the cut and emboss machine, and then I took an envelope, and took the flap and just, you wanna kinda of go light on the glue. Um, and most importantly, you wanna to try to get around the edges, right? So that it all glues down and doesn't lift. And then I just pushed my piece of cardstock up, whoop, up to the flap. Let's try that again. So let's see here. I'm gonna just try that one more time. Got away on me. Sometimes in these lights, it's a little hard to kind of see where I'm at. Um, and so there you go. You have that envelope flap and so it's just really easy to just kind of trim around it and that's how I, um, I kind of came up with some nice coordinating envelopes. Now some of these card stocks or these designer paper some of the other ones have butterflies in them that you could cut out 
and you could, you know, glue really good right here to, you know, to the envelope front if you wanted to. But this envelope is to coordinate with this one. So, so much fun. Do you guys like them? I hope that you do. I hope that you're enjoying them. Um, so here, let me show you a fun way to package these. So I am going to make a quick box for you. And I have all of the sizes and the dimensions are on Brandy's Cards right now. So if you go to brandyscards.com, you will see a post there right now with the sizes and the dimensions. Okay? Um, but don't go anywhere because we're not done yet. <laughs> don't go and, you know, it's like, you know, going to see your birthday present before it's done. Like, wait! Okay, so here, um, you know, I've just kind of showed, shared with you here. We have the top, and these are seven inches by eight and a quarter, and you score it one inch on all sides. And then I have the bottom here. So here's my cutting board, and we're going to just do this really quickly. I think you'll be amazed at how fast this actually comes together. And so we're going to score it. Now these boxes are something I love to make all the time. I love to make them as gifts. It's a beautiful way to give away your stationery. Um, Mother's Day is coming up. Valentine's Day is coming up. Birthdays, teacher's gifts. There are lots of reasons, um, you know, that you can use to make these boxes. So here is my Just Jade base. And this one is going to be scored at one and a half all the way around. So I'm just going to go one and a half all the way around. I love my trimmer. It is like my best friend. Like I have one in three different rooms. <laughs> True story. And as a matter of fact, Amanda and I were working in the same room today and she said, how is it that I've lost all three trimmers? And I'm like, <laughs> and <laughs> you couldn't find any. And I'm like, yeah, I sort of took a couple and then I went and got another one and I have no idea why. Um, yes, exactly. So here I'm just prepping my paper, right? So I'm just prepping those score lines. And then what you're going to want to do is we're going to create flaps. And you're going to want to take and it doesn't matter if you do this corner or that corner. It really does not matter. Um, but I'm just going to kind of cut out my pie out of the corner here. The reason that I do that is I find that it goes together a lot easier. Um, so that's why, why we do that. Because um, it, it just tends to, tends to go together quite a bit easier. So that's it. Now we have the base. This is your base of your box. And um, we're going to do the same thing here. Now, to, to put your flaps together, you can use tear and stick tape, right? You can use liquid adhesive. You can use Stamp and Seal Plus. You can use whatever works best for you. I am a liquid adhesive gal, and um, so that means that I should have patience <laughs> to wait for it to adhere together. So, no, I don't have a lot of patience, but. Um, but I do like my liquid adhesive, and that is definitely what I use and what I go to. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to add a little bit of my adhesive to my flap, right like that. Okay. And I'm going to add it to the other side. And, you know, you do want to have a little bit of patience, right? Because you're going to have to hold it together for just a second or two. And you're going to pull your box up and put your flaps in there. And you want to make sure that it's flush, right, on each side. So you're just going to kind of wiggle it. And that's one thing that I love about my liquid adhesive is it just gives me a little bit of time to have some wiggle room so I can sort of wiggle it into place. Um, so that is one thing that I love. But see, it really, I mean, it really went together nicely. So there is the base of my box. Now let's get our lid. Now, I like my lids just a little bit bigger. So you're going to find that they don't fit totally snug. That's okay. If you want your snug, you just have to, um, you know, you just have to work with your, with your dimensions. Just cut your lid a little bit smaller. The reason that I like mine a little bit bigger is, is if you get it too small, it'll kind of like warp your box and get kind of like cattywopped. And so you got to be careful. There is a happy medium in there. Um, and so 
that is something that you can certainly think about. Okay, so we just put our flaps on here. There we go. Get those guys nice and good. Yep, looks good. And so we have a base and a bottom to our box. Yay! Okay, so I'm excited. We are moving on. So the next piece I have here is six inches by four and three quarters. Again, all the sizes and the dimensions you'll find on brandyscards.com. There, you're not gonna see them here, although I am giving that one to you, um, but you will be able to find all of that there. So here's another one of these pieces, and I am going to do this. And I will tell you that I did this both with the thick cardstock, and I did it with the um, regular, basic white cardstock, and I couldn't believe how much um, I liked the thick. Now, it is a little hard on your hands. So, if you have a crimper, I would recommend running it through the crimper first. That's gonna break down those paper fibers for you, and then when you squish it all up, it should, um... hi, Kim Loy. Kim joined my team this week, and I'm so excited um, to have you with us. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I am, I just happened to look over there and see her. Okay, so there you go. And like I said, you could keep working this. You could run it through your crimper, keep working it all down. I love to add texture this way. I do lots of, I do a lot of cards like this. Sometimes you can even, you know, pull these, fat, like these um, fibers apart and this one needs to be broke down. This is the thick cardstock, but you can pull these fibers apart as well. It's quite lovely and a completely different look. So I'm gonna add this to the top of my box. Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh, you're like, okay, this is crinkled paper. Do you really love it? No, I do. I really do, and I think it's just, um, you know, it's just a fun, inexpensive way to add a little bit of character. You know, that's what I like, is that it didn't really need much, just my hands. Um, or, it, like I said, if you have a crimper, I definitely would recommend that, because that will kind of help you break those down first. So I'm going to open this up and just kind of stretch it out. But I do kind of, I do want it a little bumpy and lumpy, because I think that's what the appeal is, is the, uh, the look of that texture. So. I you know, don't necessarily want it to be perfectly flat. It does take a moment, since I'm using liquid adhesive, um, to, you know, to kind of get it all to hold down, but um, it's not too bad at all. Okay, up next is we have some of our card stocks. And yes, now remember, this box is going to hold our beautiful cards, right? Our butterfly cards. So I was thinking that I'm not really looking to do anything that's like totally different because I want it all to coordinate. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to coordinate this so that way when the person that opens it sees the inside, they're going to be like, wow, that is so awesome. So this one is your acts of kindness are like a breath of fresh air. So how about... You could do any one of these sentiments, right? Um, you could do any one of them. But um, I'm gonna use this one because I haven't used it yet. And maybe you're thanking somebody with your cards for what they've done or they've helped you with. So I just thought that was pretty. All right, so we're gonna add our Stampin' Dimensionals behind that. And now one thing you could do is you could certainly, you know, emboss a piece of cardstock that coordinates with your card and put that on top of your box too. So that is also an option if you really want to kind of keep that coordination, right? So that is an option for you as well. So I'm just going to keep moving through here with my Stampin' Dimensionals and I've got one more to sit down there. Okay, so I'm going to kind of push this down just to make sure that it's adhered on there well and I have my top and I'm just going to kind of push that. Now you might even take the top off and just kind of push from both sides just to make sure that you've got a good 
foothold on that, right? So those are down pretty good. And so there, it looks pretty good to me. So now I'm gonna use my favorite butterfly for the top. I kind of went back and forth and, and I said to Amanda, you know, which one do you like? Which one should we do? This one's my favorite, I think. So this one it is. This is the one that's gonna go right here to the top. And we have, we have to put stamp and dimensionals because this is the top of our box. This is the presentation right here. So this one has to be fluttering and just full of life. So here we go. We're gonna set that down. And I've got three more stamp and dimensionals for the other side. There we go. And let's see, my wing is gonna go right about there. And I have one more. Remember, I'm doubling up on the wings so that I can kind of, you know, give it some, some life. Now, of course, we have to add our matte black dots. Yes, we do. So those are gonna go right down, um, right down his body, those dots. Whoops. So this little uh, spatula piece on your take your pick tool is absolutely fabulous for this. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So you can determine how many of these dots and how close you put them that you would like on there. Okay, so there you have it. This is like, oh my gosh. So here, check this out. So here's your box, right? And then you have, you've got yellow and you have your Just Jade Butterfly, which coordinates. And then you have the um, other pink butterfly that's absolutely beautiful that goes in there too. Now I might go back and forth because they're kind of popped up so, so they fit in there a little bit nicer. Then you've got Pool Party, so that one can go in there as well. And then you have this really lovely petal pink. Just beautiful. Awesome. And then what we're going to do is close our box. Now check this out. This box, because I am using thick cardstock and I have lots of dimensionals holding my butterflies up, um, this box doesn't want to kind of hold tight. So what I would recommend is maybe putting some, you know, crinkled ribbon or putting some type of ribbon around your box so that when it's opened, um, you know, it'll open up with all of your stuff inside. Now check this out. In this designer series paper, I thought this might be kind of cool. There is a, where is it? Oh, there it is, right there. So do you see this piece right here? I thought this piece would look gorgeous at the very bottom. Yeah, check that out. Oh my gosh, isn't that cool? I thought you were going to forget to show them. Oh, no, 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 because Amanda thought that was really cool. She I was like, I loved it too. So if you guys like my projects today, I would love, I'd be grateful if you would give me a thumbs up. It um, absolutely helps me grow my channel. Um, so I just would really, really appreciate um, if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd be grateful if you uh, did that as well. Um, but this paper is gorgeous. Of course, you can pick any one of um, those designs, but I just thought that was lovely. Um, and then you would layer. Now this one, I didn't put the envelopes in. The envelopes are actually in that other one. And then you would put your card top back on and you're good to go. Now here, let me show you one more card. This one I did as well. This one has the, um, what is that? The in, not the in color, I think that's the brights. The brights, pool party is in the brights, correct? No, it's in the subtles. Yeah, so this is, I believe, pool party. And I just stamped my sentiment on that. It's layered on Just Jade, and it's also that really fun designer paper right here. So that's what this piece is. So really pretty and really easy to work with. And then I did a little black um, right there as far as the strip. All right, so let me show you one more box. So this is another box that I shared. Um, and I just thought I would show it to you. It's absolutely lovely. Um, I don't have any cards in this one, um, but just another uh, box with that sunflower. So I just, just thought it was kind of really fun and something neat that I thought you might like to see. Okay, so let's look at these one more time because they're so fun. Let's pull them out one more time. And I'm gonna show these to you guys. 
Oh my gosh, what is your favorite color? Which one do you like the best? I know it's really hard to pick. I mean, for me it is anyway. I can't really decide. I like them all, um, but I have to say, I think I like the jade the best. Which one do you like the best? I don't know, I like this one a lot too. This is petal pink. Um, oh, I can't decide, I like the yellow too. I don't know, they're just all so fun and they're so easy to make, right? Now, on my last video for my 10 and 20, um, I was so excited because I let you guys know that if you comment on that video, um, on the 20, actually on March 1st, I am going to have the computer pick a random comment and I'm going to give away one of these bundles. So I'm really excited about that and I can't hardly wait. It's just so much fun. So nice. Um, I've actually made some more cards with this set, but I'm going to save those for later. That's right. You'll have to come back and see me again, right? So a little teaser in there. Um, but I'm going to kind of look down. I see you. There's like, it's all over the board. Pool party, Rococo Rose, um, so Saffron, you like the Jade. Yeah, you love them all. That makes my heart happy. Yay! So fun to see all of your comments. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, it was just, it's so fun and it's so easy. I mean, that was just one pack of designer series paper and I used one piece. That's right, I used one piece, white card bases, and you could actually go right to your scrap bin and I bet you could pull out you know, squares or pieces that you could use um, as matting and colors behind those butterflies. So, so much fun. So many possibilities for sure. Okay, so <laughs> what's that? Um, Munzee913 says that she loves the yellow and the blue and the pink and the jade. Uh, <laughs> how are you going to make her choose a favorite tile? <laughs> Oh my goodness, Grandpa Dave, when he comes here, he always like, if Tyler's upstairs and Dylan's down here, he'll say, oh, there's my favorite grandson. And then like Tyler will walk out and he'll, oh, there's my other favorite grandson. <laughs> so it's always kind of a fun, funny joke here at our house. Um, okay, so up next is one of my favorite parts is to share your cards and um, your beautiful cards and all the um, you know, the inspiration that you share with me, I want to share it with all of you. Um, so the first card I want to share with you is from Tammy. And Tammy, I just talked to her yesterday, absolutely love her. And I just got her card and she said, did you get my card? And Grandpa Dave had just brought it in from the P.O. box. So I just thought it was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And then she colored the fun flower on the inside. So I think she said that was a Tool Wild Rose maybe. Um, just beautiful. So I loved that card. And then I continued to get a couple more Valentines. So I feel so loved. My husband has some big shoes to fill. There's a lot of beautiful cards. Um, so this one is just too much fun. So this one's from Barb. And I just thought it was precious. I have not had the chance to play with these guys yet. Um, but I love the pink, um, you know, the pink glittery hair. So cute. Oh my goodness. And here is another beautiful card. And um, this one is from Webra. Webra, I just got your card today too. I absolutely love it. And I appreciate you thinking of me. I love it. So pretty. So pretty. And I love how you did the ribbon. The ribbon is really fun how you did that behind there. Okay, so here's another one. This one is from Cheryl. And look at that cute cupcake. I remember that cupcake. Oh my gosh, so cute. So, so cute. Absolutely adorable. Now this one is from one of my team members, Missy. And Missy says in her note that, you know, she was nervous to send me a card. Please don't ever be nervous. No, 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 that's not what it's about. This card was handmade from you. It's absolutely perfect. It's lovely and you should be proud and you should send your cards to everybody. That's right because it's what it means when you send it and the message on the inside as well as the beautiful card that you created. So um, Missy, this card is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so grateful that you sent it to me. So thank you for that. So check out this one. This um, 
This one's from Linda. Linda is also one of my team members. And I love this paper. I think this was like last year's Valentine paper, wasn't it? Oh, just so pretty. I wish I had some of that left. Now here's a fun one. My son plays the electric guitar and Julia sent me this cool card. Look at that, you rock. <laughs> I would love to have a pink glittery guitar, right? So much fun, such a fun card. And then it uh, looks like I have two more here. I have, this one's from Peggy and I just thought that was gorgeous. So that is um, it's probably I don't know if the glare, if you can see that okay, but it's so pretty. It's got um, some really pretty foil paper behind there. Just lovely through that snowflake. And then the last one I have here is from Carol. And this is that first frost designer paper and she has framed it, um, you know, with some other paper. So just really, really pretty and very clever. Doesn't so, Carol say something funny on the back? Oh, Carol's does. Um, not sent from my iPhone. <laughs> yeah, not sent from my iPhone. And I feel like one of these others I absolutely thought was adorable too. Um, I'm just going to look real quick. And yeah, it was so cute. Oh, I like this one. This one's on, this one's Tammy. It says made just for you because you're priceless. And it's like a you know, a barcode. A barcode. <laughs> Super cute. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Absolutely love them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed these cards in my box. I hope you go over to Brandy's Cards and um, give it a try. You know, all of the sizes and the dimensions are there, so you can give these a try. And but you do have to wait to get your hands on this bundle till March 2nd, um, but it's coming. And um, of course, like I said, if you are getting a host code gift, those are gonna go out Monday and Tuesday. And so I will have that flyer in there for you so you can, um, you know, so you can kind of have a look and see some of the inspiration from Stampin' Up! because their cards are just as fantastic. So really, really cool. And I have more to come. That's right. I have more of these cards. And I told Doug, I'm like, gosh, I want to show them all. And he's like, no, you can't show them all yet. Um, we gotta, you gotta come back and see me again, you know? Um, so I hope that you had fun tonight. Um, that's what, you know, that's what I want for my Friday night fun nights is just to kind of have some fun together. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget, we have about two weeks left for celebration. So if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please let me know. I'd love to help you. I'd love to answer your questions and earn your business. If you're already one of my customers, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate you. I appreciate your business. And I love to wake up and create for you and inspire all of you. So thank you. God bless. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Until next time. Bye.